morning on this Sunday, August 5th. And Nick and I are starting out the day very much like we started out the day yesterday, except for I slept less last night than I did the day before. Um, I actually got up an hour earlier this morning, but I think I went to sleep later last night than I did on Friday night. Uh, anyhow, we are heading to... Pool! The pool! Again, with no ra racing this time. No racing this time. No, bi no triathlon today. Uh, Nick is in his fluorescent yellow bathing suit and top. And you're with the same clothes. And I, no, I have, I have the same t-shirt on. So I wear this t-shirt over my bathing suits as a sun protectant. I've been wearing these shirts forever. Like this shirt, this t-shirt that I'm wearing is probably 15, 16 years old, something like that. Maybe even older. Uh, but it works. So why change it, you know? And the design's all worn off, it's fine. Uh, the bathing suit that I'm wearing is different though. I'm wearing my purple bathing suit instead of my black bathing suit today. Um, but we're gonna go and hang out at the pool for maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Neil is up and at him at work this morning. He works seven to one, so he's gonna be work. It's 11.30 now. He's gonna be working for another hour and a half. Um, I got up and I made some myself some breakfast and dad made Nick some breakfast. Did, did, did dad make himself some breakfast too? Anyway, we are heading to the pool. So we're super excited. We're gonna spend, like I said, an hour, hour and a half at the pool, something like that. Hour and a half. Um, we much prefer to have the pool passes because we can go for an hour or an hour and a half and it would be okay. Versus if we were paying to go, I'd feel gypped if I only went for like an hour and a half, so. What I'd really like is to put a pool in the backyard, but we can't afford that. Because if we put a pool in the backyard, I'd be swimming every day. Right, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of me. You Not would me. too. I know yeah. you would. I would come home from work or I'd get off work if I was working from home yeah. and I would go swimming every day. Probably, swimming probably just... after lunch. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Or after dinner, I mean. After dinner. Yeah. Anyhow. We would just have this enjoying ourselves into the pool. Man, yeah. there's a bunch of people at this church. Yeah, there's a bunch of people that, that must be going on. Church must be going on right now. It's a later service. Later service. All right. Anyway, we are going to go swimming. And we will see you all in a little while. Bye. Well, we're done swimming, but Nick and I have a little bit of a problem, don't we? Yeah, we're almost gonna be trapped. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. Hold on one second. So we are parked in, so that's gonna be fun. Now, uh, there is a possibility that I'm gonna get out over here. So I'm gonna try that, and if not, we're gonna be going back in and saying, hey, you people who blocked us in, get your butts out of here. Yeah. That's not cool. Cool That's not cool at not, all. Not cool beans. All right, we're gonna try to get out of here, right, Nick? Mm -hmm. Wish us luck. We made it! Yay! Cool beans. We drove out beside the red car. We didn't have to make anybody move. Cool. Cool all right, beans. we're gonna head home. We're gonna shower, and then we're gonna get on with our day, right, Nick? Mm-hmm. All right. I have somebody else with me. Well, Nick's still back here, but I got Neil with me right now. Uh, we are heading to my dad's house. We're actually almost there. We've stopped at a couple of stores along the way. We went to Vitamin Shop and Marshall's. And yeah, now we're going to my dad's house. But we are at a stoplight. So I figured I'd say hello. Uh, we grabbed Nikki some dinner because my dad's uh, having pizza, which is very, very good. I love pizza. I can't eat it, but I love pizza. I can eat one piece. And he's been getting stromboli lately too. So I think what I'm going to do is just have one piece of stromboli which my app is estimating to be about 36 calorie or I'm sorry 36 carbs so it's within my range so I got one start one slice of stromboli um I think pizza is probably about the same as well mm -hmm. but anyway I figured I'd say hello to you all uh we got Nikki some food he doesn't eat pizza I think I've told you guys that before um he doesn't eat pizza because he doesn't like melted cheese he likes cheese, just not melted cheese. So, uh, not a fan of pizza. Huh? You, you're not a fan of pizza. Right? Hello, everyone. <laughs> anyway, we're going to my dad's. John stayed home, he's still recuperating. He's doing a lot better today. There's a little bit of bruising in the area where he uh, had his procedure done but nothing too bad, so it's looking pretty good. Hopefully it'll heal up right quick and he'll be good to go in the next day or two. 
he's able to get up and move around a lot more than he had been, um, which is good. So he's doing pretty good. Anyway, we're going to head to my dad's. Neil, you want to say anything? <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys after my dad's. Bye. It is 1030 and it is time for bed. Uh, I spent the night editing. Um, I actually edited tomorrow's Epic Beauty Fail, which is currently uploading. The Omnizy Vegan for tomorrow is currently uploading because I forgot to upload it this morning. Uh, and I, I edited Friday's, Friday's vlog, yeah. But it's not going to be done before we go to bed. It's still processing right now. It said it was going to take an hour to process because it's a long vlog. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I'll get that uploading tomorrow. And then I'll get I'll get caught up on my vlog tomorrow. So I'll get Friday, Saturday, and Sunday posted tomorrow. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. Well, if you're watching this, you already know. Uh, but anyway, it is the end of the night. It is time for bed. Uh, we had a nice time at my dad's house. Except that I don't know if I told you guys. I can't remember if I told you guys or not. But the uh, I had a piece of stromboli. And my blood glucose check. Because I checked it after dinner tonight was very high uh not like off the charts high um my range i have to be under 180 and it was 142 but that is the highest uh, reading that i've had in the last week since i started taking readings um that is the highest reading i've had so i know the doctor or the dietitian she's not a doctor the dietitian she, actually she's a registered nurse i think so she's a registered dietitian, but I think she's also a registered nurse. Um, but anyway, uh, she tells me carbs are okay, and then I get my high reading, you know? I don't know. I feel like I'm complaining way too much about my diet. It's just what is really, like, in in the front of my life right now. And the main, the main, the main focus of my life right now is my health. <laughs> Um, as it should be. John said, as it should be. Um, and unfortunately for my health to get better, I really have to focus on my diet. Not like diet as in fad diet, but diet as in everything I eat. Um, so it's really the focus of my life right now. Uh, yeah. Um, so... I have my food picked out for tomorrow. I have a protein bar for breakfast and a vitamin water for breakfast. That's going to be my breakfast tomorrow. And then um, that should bring my carbs to where they need to be. Uh, they should, they'll, not entirely. They'll probably be about 26 or 27 uh, grams. And then for lunch, I have a salad packed and some rotisserie chicken, which we had last week for dinner. Uh... And then, yeah, so that's going to be like my main dinner or lunch, excuse me. And then I have some snacks. So I have um, some string cheese. I have a couple of uh, Atkins bars because uh, I don't think I have any carbs. Like I have very few carbs in my lunch because of the salad and the chicken. The chicken, of course, has zero. Um, the salad has like one or two grams. The salad dressing has, salad dressing might have like eight grams. So I think I might have somewhere around 10 grams of carbs right now. So I might have to eat uh, one of the Atkins bars for like a dessert at lunch uh, just to get my carbs up for lunch. Um, and then I have some string cheese, which has zero carbs. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I stopped at the grocery store and grabbed some, well, I sent Neil in to get some watermelon. <laughs> that was a mistake. Uh, he got cut watermelon, which is what I asked him for, but he got just a, like this little tiny dish. And I was hoping that he'd get it because I figure I would eat like that as my nighttime snack before going to bed. Now I ended up not eating it tonight because it's already 1030 and, um, I probably should have eaten it about an hour ago if I was going to eat it. So it's in the fridge. I'll eat it tomorrow. But I figured he'd get like a decent size. Maybe not a family size container, but more than like two cups. Um, so that's like two nights worth because a cup is supposedly 15 grams of carbs. Or that's the serving size that they give me. So 
Um, anyway, today I am thankful that John's doing better. He's actually uh, moving around a lot more than he was the last couple of days. Um, and seems to be more active, more back to normal. So maybe by tomorrow, he's standing over there. He doesn't want to be in the, in the video. <laughs> tomorrow or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. He say Tuesday. Anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.